so hi everyone today we will be talking about how you can create a custom tool for a lang chain agent so basically uh, in my previous video i have already covered how you can create an agent using the already existing tool with lang chain so by an agent we mean that we are trying to provide multiple facilities uh, to the lang chain that we are creating so for example we can provide google access we can provide archive access we can create a calculator app so eventually whatever the query comes to the agent it depending upon the tool available with it it is able to execute the query that has been given so uh, till in lang chain we already have a default list of tools available like for example google search duckduckgo integration or bash integration where if you give a query it will give you a bash code automatically so but how to create a custom tool we will learn today so in this particular tutorial we will be trying to create a custom tool using the yahoo finance app so basically anything that you ask about the stock trading and all it would be able to access the data using the yahoo finance app and then able to reply back to you so this gives it a lot of privilege now so let's get started so first of all we will be pip installing a few things that is uh, pip install lang chain open ai lang chain experimental and yahoo finance uh, library the second step that we would be doing is that we will be creating two functions using the yahoo finance app and we will be creating two tools uh, corresponding to that one would be to get a current stock price given the ticker code so ticker code is basically the trading name of the trading symbol for a particular stock like for example for microsoft it is M uh, msft for the companies you must be knowing uh, so the first function that we are creating using the yahoo finance app is to like get the current stock price and second is the get the stock performance so basically it will tell you how uh, the stock prices change in terms of percentage in, in talking about the historic data so these are two functions that we have created now you these functions will be creating custom tools and eventually we'll be able to in, use these functions as tools for our lm agent now so the next step that we would be doing is that we'll be pipping uh we'll be importing a few packages from typing pydentic and langchain.tools import base tool so for any tool that we would be creating we need to have two classes first is the input for that particular tool that would be going so here you can see that for the stock price getting the stock current stock price we are creating an input where we are passing the base model from the pydentic library <clears throat> for inheritance purposes and eventually we are mentioning that the the argument would be ticker which is a string and then we are giving a description for that field ticker symbol of the stock now using this particular fear uh, particular class uh, we will be creating this particular tool current stock price tool which is inheriting base tool that is coming from langchain.tools so we are not using a existing tool with langchain but we are using a custom tool now so we are creating two tools right now so for this tool we are creating, giving it a name and a description and then the most important part is there are three parts for each of the class that we will be creating for a custom tool one is to like mention the argument schema so here you can see that we are passing the class current stock price input <clears throat> to the type base model so whatever is the input for this tool we are uh, first of all we are mentioning that in the argument schema then we are defining two functions within this base class for overriding purposes one is run and other is a run a run is basically asic run so for run we are mentioning the function that we have already created get current stock price in the first step as you can see this function for run we are mentioning that we will be passing the ticker and then we will be returning the price response and for async run we have not we have a razor not implemented error that is skippable because we don't because this doesn't support async run the second class that we will be creating is the stock a uh, percent change input so as i told you we will be creating two tools so the first tool is already created that that gives us current stock price tool the second tool that we are creating is a stock percentage change input so in this we would be passing two parameters one is ticker the symbol for the stock and number of days like from which date in the past we wish to compare the price so these are two arguments that we are passing one is string other is integer the rest of the process remains the same we will be creating a stock performance tool passing base tool for inheritance purpose that has been imported from langchain.tools giving it a name description again mentioning the argument schema argument schema is mentioned uh, is marked using the class that we have already created for mentioning the input now again two functions run and async run so again here we are not in, uh, implementing the async run we are just implementing the run function so which intakes two parameters ticker and days and eventually it is using the already declared function that we mentioned get stock performance right we are not jumping into the logic now once we are able to create the two tools uh, we will be importing a few lang chain uh, lang chain functions agent type chat open ai and initialize agent so chat open ai as you know 
is for like initializing the LLM. We will be passing our API key here. Then we are creating a list of tools, current stock price tool and stock performance tool. So these are the two classes that we mentioned where we pass base tool as an inheritance. So that is important. So these two tools are created. Now using the initialize agent function, we will be passing this custom list of tools, the LM object, the agent type and verbose we have set it as true. Now once we done, what is the current price of Microsoft stock, how it has performed over past six months. Now in this case, what will happen as you can see here, it is invoking the get current stock price ticker is MSFT. It has eventually got to, uh, the LM itself has understood that Microsoft stock has a ticker token as MSFT. Here you can see that the stock price has come up using that particular function that we have declared the tool and then for performance also you can see that get stock performance <clears throat> we have given ticker as MSFT days equals to 180 as we have already mentioned how it has performed over the past six months and then eventually it is giving me the final answer that the current price of Microsoft stock is $330 USD over the past six months the Microsoft stock has performed well with 21.13 percentage increase so here you can see that how custom tools can be created and integrated with LLMs uh, using LangChains and can enhance the performance.